Hey beautiful people, how you are doing today? It's your girl Destiny here and welcome back to my channel. How you are doing? Hope you guys are doing great. So this video is a video of a couple talking about literally this woman asked her husband to see through her husband's phone and the husband felt some type of uncomfortable it wasn't comfortable about it but like you know you can't see it what do you want i have to go to work i have to do this i have to do that just making all the excuse not to let her go through his phone and this has strike a bigger conversation for everybody to have about spouse and trust and all that and this has gotten a lot of women dishing out advices to this woman for a partner not allowing her to go through his phone Anyway, guys, I want us to see this video and then I'd like to know your thought on this. And then you see people's reaction to this video. And even the couple eventually came out to address this video eventually, which we'll get to later on. But I'd love to know your own thought on this and people's reaction on this. So let's go check out the main video and then people's reaction to this. And if this has ever happened to you or you know a scenario like this, let us know down in the comment section and feel free to share your story. With that all said, guys, let's go check it out. Then we'll come back and talk. Hey, baby. I'm gonna go. I Can I use your phone real quick? My phone? Yeah. You have your phone right there. I know, but I need to use your phone real quick. Why do you need my phone? Because I just need to do something. Can I just see it? No. Let I me don't just think see so. it. Why? Because I need to borrow it for. Baby, you gotta stop with the insecurity things. Like, you have your phone. There's nothing in my phone. Like. What do you mean insecurity things? Like, why do you want to see my phone just to go through it? No, I just like just to prove that there's nothing there. Like there is no good that comes from that. What do you mean no good that comes from that? Like if you have to look for something, then like there's no trust. Why? Why are you? Why do you need to see my phone right now before I go to work? I just wanted to see it for a second. Look, here it is. Beam. Babe, what are you? Why are you being weird like this? I love you. I gotta go to work. Babe. I don't have, I don't have time for these. I'm not right asking now. you anymore. Oh. I'm telling you to give me your phone. Baby, I have to go to work. But give me your phone. Late. I need my phone when I'm at work. You don't have to leave for another 10 minutes. Baby, give me your true. phone. I gotta go. I love you. Are we good? I can go. Like. Yeah, I guess so. Whatever. What are you, why are you saying like that? Nothing. Everything is good. I love you. Here, I'll, I'll open it for you. What do you need? What do you need on my phone? Oh, you're gonna navigate it for me? Yes. No, I just let me see your phone, babe. Baby, I gotta go to work. We can play this game when I get home. I I gotta go to work. I love you guys. I'll Don't see play you. it. Babe, just let me see. Baby, I'll see you tomorrow. Like, what do you mean in security like, why do you want to see my phone? Just to go through it? No. This guy's in the wrong, and here's why. When you're in a relationship, you're going through a series of trust-building experiences. Moment to moment, you are constantly gauging, is my partner matching up with what they say and what they do? Mm -hmm. Now, if you have a partner who's insecure, calling them out on their insecurity does not help the situation. And if they're insecure, there's probably a reason why, whether it's from past relationships or something that you've done in this relationship. So why wouldn't you want to put her mind at ease? And if she's asking to borrow your phone, why would you get defensive? Because now any insecurity that existed, any doubts or fears that were there within her are going to come right up to the surface because you're creating a sense of suspicion. She's now having a reason to think about, well, why, why wouldn't he just hand me the phone? What is he trying to hide? He's offering to give it to me later today. Is that to give him the opportunity to wipe off whatever is on his phone mm -hmm. so that I'm, he's not going to get in trouble when he shows it to me? Now, of course, as your relationship progresses and more and more trusting experiences occur, you're going to need less reassurance from your partner. But in those initial phases or if something has happened that's caused a rupture in your relationship, like they've cheated on you or they've done something that makes you feel insecure, it's normal as part of the healing and repairing process to have moments where they need to reassure you. And part of a secure relationship is both partners being able to meet each other's needs. Hey, babe. Can I use your phone real quick? My phone? Yeah. That said a whole lot without saying nothing. Mm. Be careful. Mm -hmm. He's cheating. Mm -hmm. Can I just see it? No. Let me just see it. Why? To deny the person that you lay your head next to. The person that you share secrets with. The person you share bodily fluids with. Mm. Access to your phone is just downright ridiculous to me. Wanting someone to think that you are loving, honoring, and cherishing and yet holding back your phone is equally as ridiculous. 
Don't even bother giving an excuse because you make it ten times as worse. You can't ask for privacy from somebody who been between your legs. <laughs> <laughs> no, Let me just see it. Why? Because I need. Hey, babe. Can I see your phone really fast? Thank you. He hiding something. Oh, real quick. It's my phone? Yeah. You have your phone right there. I know, but I need to use your phone. Oh, if my husband had responded that way, I would have grabbed that phone, ran like Usain Bolt down the block, and went through every single oh. <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean insecurity? Like, why do you want to see my phone? Just to go through it? Bro, she was polite enough to ask you. She could take that phone in your sleep. And if she doesn't have the passcode, mm. Why? Because I need to borrow it for... Baby, you gotta stop with the insecurity things. He's cheating on you, baby. <laughs> but he's just a man. So I hope you make a plan to... Leave. leave. He's broke ass. He's like a three. <laughs> he's a four on a good day. You're a ten. That's all I'm saying. Hey, baby. <laughs> Can I use your phone real quick? My phone? Yeah. You have if you are in any kind of relationship, have a husband, wife, whatever the case may be, and they ask you to use your phone, and you start hemming and hawing and acting like this guy did, that's a big red flag. There's something in there that they don't want you to see. Mm -hmm. Whether you go through the phone or not, you should just hand the phone over. If you have nothing to hide, what's the problem? Exactly. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'll, I'll open it for you. What do you need? What do you need on my phone? Oh, you're going to navigate it for me? Yes. Who? The triggering that this did. The number of times this happened in my marriage. Mm -hmm. And the whole, oh, well, you can see it, but I'm going to hold it and navigate it for you. I commented on this video telling her, just divorce him. Just get out. And yeah, that sounds severe, but I wasted five years after finding the first time that my husband was cheating. My ex-husband was cheating. And I don't know how many times in my last, what, 18 months since I threw him out, I had thought if I had only listened to my gut that first time mm -hmm. and I guarantee you this guy will go to work and he'll empty his phone. He'll delete everything and he'll come home and be like, okay, it was just because I didn't have time because I was going to work. But here you can look at whatever you want. You guys remember my video about what happened when I asked him, hey, come on over and let me see your phone. He had deleted everything, but I had learned how to undelete it. If this is you, if you happen to see this stitch and you are the maker of this video, or if this is you in that you're going through this with your husband, your significant other, or anybody else that you're in a position of trust with, do yourself a favor and just get out now. Don't waste five years. It's not easy to get over. Time is the one thing we will not get back. It's the one thing you give to people that you cannot get back. Yeah. You can always make more money. You can always find different friends. Time is the one thing you don't get back. Trust your gut. If you ask to see his phone and he acts anything like this, just leave. As a side note, being alone is so much better than being with someone you can't trust. Mm -hmm. And that is something I have learned through experience over the last 18 months. Mm. I'm not saying that, that man is a narcissist. I'm not saying it, y'all. That's not what I'm saying. But that behavior is very toxic or narcissistic at minimum. And of course, if you knew her, I'm actually a diagnosed narcissist. So things like that happen all the time in toxic relationship dynamics. And that, that was a pretty good example of that, the dismissive behavior. I know people will hop in the comment sections of videos like that and just be like, you know, uh, you everybody's entitled to their privacy. Use your own phone. You're you're actually recording him with your phone. So why don't you use that one? Blah blah blah. Boo 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 To make excuses for not letting allowing her to go through the phone and whatnot. But if you ask your partner to see their phone and they immediately get defensive like that and they're just always just trying to throw you off and just trying to you know make excuses for not letting. I gotta go to work. No, you got ten. Hey, you got you got ten, you got ten minutes. Where you going? Uh, well, you you try to start a fight. Well, why, how am I trying to start a fight by going through your phone? Is there something in your phone for me to see? Yeah.
their reaction tells you everything that you need to know. Mm -hmm. Their reaction to whatever you, your react, their reaction is the answer right there. The, the answer you're looking for. The, these are the droids that you're looking for. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Their reaction tells you. If they automatically jump to anger or deflection or anything else other than just like, okay, I mean, why? You know, anything other than a passive why? They might be hiding something, y'all. But just like a lot of narcissistic people, they will try to flip it onto you, make it seem like you're overreacting, make it seem like you're trying to start a fight, make it seem like you it's, it's your fault. Blame deflection. You know, let me go through your phone. Let me do this, let me do that. You know, you, blah, 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 blah. you know, they just, I'll go through it for you. It was, you know, it was pretty funny when he just, I'll hold it up. Here you go. It was pretty, you know, you simply laugh. Now, this is not me telling you to go through your partner's phone, y'all. I just, like, I know many people have discovered cheating and affairs and lies and manipulation in phones. Mm -hmm. This is not me telling you to do that, but if you ask and that's their reaction or some anger, some of, yeah, some of them will get angry at you and put their hands on you if you ask to do it, go through their phone. It can escalate that fast. Like, if they seem nervous or defensive, or like they start sweating or shaking or farting or something like that, <laughs> farting like that or something like that, you know, then they're probably hiding something, y'all. Watch the body language. Watch the action, their reactions or whatever. Watch how they act towards you, and they will tell you everything that you need to know about this type of situation. Another common thing that you will see in di dynamics like this is they will try to make you feel like your insecurity is going to kill the relationship. Like, your insecurities or your reaction is the actual problem, not their reaction to you asking that simple question. Mm -hmm. You, you, you got to stop with these insecurities. Like, you way too insecure. Like, you need to work on that. Like, your childhood insecurity is going to ruin our relationship right now. Mm -hmm. Blah, 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 boo, 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 beep, beep. Y'all understand it. So, this is their page right here, y'all. I'm pretty, like I said, I'm, I'm pretty sure that was a skit because it says, you know, pushing all the buttons so y'all get, get him a follow because it was a pretty good skit i ain't gonna lie i did laugh so check him out then also the hashtags or you know cheater why is it tiktok funny mar marriage humor so you know you see what i'm saying but my pr perspective bravo that was a good it happens <laughs> in real life. that is a good illustration though they're holding the phone up from a distance that was <laughs> that was a good one can i use your phone real quick my phone yeah you have if you go to that couple's profile you realize pretty quickly that this is fake yeah. Because if someone fought with their spouse that much, it would not be all over TikTok. There's no way. You you wouldn't want to be embarrassed that much by how unhealthy your relationship is that you put it on TikTok all the time. So it's fake. It's scripted. Mm -hmm. How many couples, how many how many people are watching this and thinking, Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna play that game. I'm gonna try that with mine. And then they're manipulating a partner, which is, like all of that is emotion. Unless you have a real reason to suspect cheating um right before they go to work so they're stressed out all day upset all day and then you come home and ignore them all that don't do that healthy relationships are nothing like this it's not funny it's not cute don't don't spread this hmm? i know but i need to use your phone real quick why do you need my phone because i just oh yes let's get into it yeah look at that whole video the whole thing through and through so yeah, this is based on empirical evidence, right? Anecdotal, meaning that it's based on, or my premise is based on my own experiences, my own personal history. And also a combination of the people that I know and love that have gone through similar, um, that have uh, had these red flags and have dealt with similar situations and coming from someone that is uh, fresh out of a two decade marriage with a pathological liar, I can attain with all certainty that man or woman, whenever you have a scenario or a situation such as this, when someone is gaslighting you to the extent that he is gaslighting her, as I said, watch the whole thing, that he is most definitely 350% hiding something. Mm -hmm. The way he goes around in a circle, do you know all this could have just been prevented if he had just handed her the phone? But of course, when you have something to hide, you will not do that. You will avoid that at all costs. I mean, you will fight life and death to not hand over that phone for whatever you are trying to hide to not be exposed. So many time, right? The phone is used as an excuse to gaslight you or tell you that you're insecure for whatever reason and that is the only reason that they're giving you it's like oh honey you're just being insecure please you got to stop with all this insecurity mm -hmm. that's a clear sign right there 
And actually, if you find the need to, and you just have the sudden desire to check your significant other's phone, whether male, female, whatever, check their phone, um, that is your intuition already telling you right then and there, especially for women, you know how our intuition is, mm -hmm. is telling you that there's a reason why. And I find in through life, the journey of life, that when that question comes up and you really feel the need to have to ask, it's time, it's just time to go. It, it's just time to go because it's always going to be something that you find. Um, also, in that video, I want you to peep body language, right? How immediately tense he got. And then it's like you try to relax. And I also want you to peep, especially in your own situations, when you ask questions like this, look at their eyes. This is the one thing I noticed about my ex where I knew he was like, I mean, when he moves his mouth, he's lying. But when I would notice that he's really lying, and this was recently, like up until like two weeks ago, um, I found out something that blew my mind. And it actually put me back in a place where I felt like I can't trust anyone. I will never be able to trust anyone, um, especially men, never be able to trust them. And But I noticed that there was something that I didn't notice before, and it was behind the eyes. It was dead. It was like darkness back there. And I'm like, girl, why the peep this shit before so it's something that tells you you know there are aspects of all of us human beings right um as energetic vessels with souls inside of us well some of us for the most part but what three things cannot be fabricated or lied is energy right feet and eyes so in your eyes behind your eyes um they speak and they tell a story that you can't control no matter how hard you try. You can probably control it minimally, right? But not your feet and not your energy. So keep those things with anyone that you are experiencing this stuff with because it's a dead giveaway. But if you're gonna peep it only to stay, child, I don't even know what to say. So yeah. It's just uh, something that's happening. I mean, and right now, it's it's a huge thing. I know that there's kind of a trend of men going around making videos and telling their stories about how they um, went and they checked they, they woman phone and they found some stuff. And so, you know, of course, with women, this has been happening forever. But again, it's on both sides of the board. Men cheat, women cheat, mm -hmm. you know? And even if this person in this video I stitched is not actually cheating, I mean, you never He's know. He's hiding right? something. But there is something that is being hidden. And when you hide things from people that you supposedly love, right, and they find out, that is a form of betrayal. Regardless of whether you're hiding another person, whether you're hiding, no matter what it is that you are hiding, it's still withholding truth, mm -hmm. right? So, so in conclusion, I would say that when you peep this type of behavior or if you don't even see this type of behavior, but you feel it, you feel it deep within, listen to yourself, you know, listen to yourself. You don't want to be like me and be immersed in a two decade marriage. So you want to make sure that you listen to yourself because now I swear I am more spiritually in tune. I just love myself so much that I, I get out of stuff immediately as soon as it doesn't serve me. I peep the way that people are and as soon as you start moving in a negative direction or I feel intensity here and my intuition is telling me, not this one, baby, not this one, I move on. And so should you. Mm -hmm. So, yes. So those are people's reaction. Those are the video. And yes, that video is a skit. The couple came out to address this and talk about why it's a skit and why they do this. So apparently I saw the couple's page. What they do is that they create um they can't, they they recreate real life scenarios of DV and situations and abusive relationship situation and just to make more awareness and strike conversation and that was why they did this video so it's a skit but i know a lot of people can actually relate to this and i feel like this type of skit is a very good one because the scenario it felt really real and i feel like a lot of people were triggered by it because the comment section was commenting okay so anyway guys let's go check out what the couple have to say about the video and why they did it and then we'll come back and talk more guys so obviously it's time for us to say that this was a skit but a skit with a purpose um we wanted to bring awareness to situations like this that can turn 
ugly really, really fast. So anybody that was triggered by this or that's going through this currently, just understand that there's help for you yeah. out there. There's mm -hmm. resources and you're not alone. Mm -hmm. We wanted to show both sides of it. Obviously, most of the flack went on, on me, um, but we don't want to ignore the dudes either. Like this happens to both, mm -hmm. both women one and in four males. Women, one in four women and then one in seven men. So there are resources out there. Um, we want to bring awareness and um, support our local shelters. Yeah, guys, there's lots of help out there for you. Um, I've been a fireman for 20 years. She's been an ER nurse for a while now. And we've personally both seen a lot of the bad that mm -hmm. this can escalate to even as a skit highlighting some stuff as trivial as like hiding a phone or mm -hmm. just narcissistic behavior things that we've seen firsthand all of this can escalate so fast Absolutely. so guys we just want to highlight that there is help and we're going to try and provide as much information on that as we can mm -hmm. um for all of you guys that have followed us before you know we're good we love each other very much everything is fine we we had to commit to this and mm -hmm. make sure that the experiment went well um and that we can all teach you guys to identify toxic unhealthy behavior yeah and for what it's worth it was hard to do um mm -hmm. a little bit more harder for her i guess mm -hmm. being a narcissist came naturally to me <laughs> and so it wasn't as bad um and as far as some of the comments especially you ladies that came at me in the comments oh my gosh you guys are <laughs> you guys are vicious so we might have to have like a reading mean tweets session yes. at some point mm -hmm. but i hope this was entertaining at least mm -hmm. and i hope you can take something from it and educational um but yeah guys i hope you guys have a good easter weekend enjoy your families and we hope you enjoyed the show Please go down in the comment section and share your thoughts. I'd love to know what you think about these conversation down in the comment section, but please keep it respectful. You're on this channel. We're allowed to disagree, but we do it in a respectful way. So feel free to share your opinion. You guys know how we do it here. So for me personally, it's really interesting the take on this. Yeah, some people will say, oh, this is a skit, da 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 da, -da. But this is kids that pans out reality and all that. So I get that. So I get that and I do appreciate them for making this and their page is more like keeping awareness and putting awareness into DV and behaviors like this. And I like, especially when it comes to couples and all that. So give it, I like, the, I like when this type of kids strike a conversation that real life women are going through and somebody can see it and are like, you know what, mm, this is exactly what I'm going through. Then I have to think this. Then in the aspect of oh, asking your husband or your partner to see their phone and they act funny, that is a giveaway. They might not be cheating, but they're hiding something. There's something they, they don't want to tell you. There's something they don't want you to know. And for me, that's not even an unhealthy uh, situation. Um, I'm going to share this personal story of mine between me and my husband a couple of years ago. Some years ago. So um, I don't know. My, one, of my, one of my husband's friend was being shady and yeah. So I went through the phone. Yeah. <laughs> so let me know if you're that woman that will go through your man's phone or you're that man that will go through your woman's phone. So apparently I went through his phone and I saw some funny messages from his friend and um, that insinuated that he might be cheating. Though it wasn't really clear, but it just insinuated something like that. And I kind of asked my husband about like and he didn't like the fact that i went through like why 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 and then he decided to say you know what don't touch my phone anymore yada 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 and guys don't even do that because if you do that hey <laughs> so someone like mom like okay i shouldn't touch your phone and after that i went hold on guys after that i went into that bridge when I started acting up like he can my husband can touch my phone, my phone will lock. If he asks for my phone, I'm literally like, What do you want? And that thing really caused a lot of stem in our relationship that it was like, What are you doing? Why are you hiding your phone? And I'm like, Shay, you said we should not touch each other's phone. So why are you touching my phone? So having your partner 
getting into your phone and all that it's a very it's a trust thing and if you don't have that trust and you can't go through your partner's phone and you're like oh no i don't go through my partner's phone i don't go through my husband's phone i don't go through my wife's phone i don't go through my girlfriend's phone my man's phone <laughs> you might want to oh, because sometimes you'll be seeing some things that may tend you into the right direction and we've seen stories of women that have found out so many things just by going through phones and if a man is or a woman if your partner is holding their phone and does not want you to have access to their phone changing password mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. sis sis <laughs> so for me I feel like that's actually a good test of trust if your partner trusts you and if you trust your partner. Because if you have nothing to hide, and like the other sister said, that's somebody that you've changed body fluid between your legs. So what else are you hiding? What else? So for me, it's a really like valid um, um, skit. I really like it a lot. Personally, I know some of you guys don't like skit here on this channel. Like, Anna, oh, no, the skit is not real, but these are real life situation that is being panned out. Anyway, guys, please go down in the comment section and share your thoughts. Love to know what you think about this conversation about get touching, going through your partner's phone and all that. Let me know what you think. But please, as always, keep it respectful. Go on and share this video with somebody that you want to be part of the conversation because that's what we do here. We are banging conversation so go ahead and share your thought don't forget to give this video a thumbs up smash the like button because this helps youtube to push out my content for more people to see and that will be you supporting this channel and this girl with that i will say subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you guys in my next video deuces